What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style and today, we are unboxing and trying on a bunch of clothes from Uniqlo. So I'm sure you guys have heard of Uniqlo before, but if not, they are a Japanese brand known for making very high quality clothing at an extremely affordable price point. Personally, over the years, I have been a huge fan of Uniqlo sweaters. I have several of their turtlenecks, a couple cardigans, and I honestly look forward to pulling those sweaters out every single fall and winter. I was actually just recently in the store and ended up buying one of their ultralight down jackets because I did not pack as I should have. But when I was in the store, I was looking around and I said, man, I would love to try on some of the other things that the brand has to offer other than sweaters. So I ended up ordering a little over $500 worth of stuff. And this box has been sitting here for about a week. So I am very eager to finally open it up and try the stuff on. Right, let's see what we have here. Red plaid flannel shirt, cotton cashmere cable knit sweater, brown corduroy button up shirt, kind of like an orangey t shirt, size small. This is sweatshirt hoodie, size small. Pajamas, size small. This is a black down coat, size small. These are sweatpants or joggers. I had to get another sweater. This is a brown cardigan, uh, an extra fine merino wool. This is a Glen plaid scarf, pair of gloves, cashmere. This is a long sleeve turtleneck t-shirt in brown. Obviously I like brown. Slim fit chino flat front pants. I've always been curious about the Uniqlo pants so I'm going to try these on. And a light down puffer vest. Also size small. Let's try this stuff on. All right, first we have this V-neck t-shirt. It's a size small. I already knew it was gonna fit really well. I have several of the same t-shirt in white that I'll wear under sweaters or just around the house. Wanted to see how this orangish color would look and I think it looks pretty good, so this is definitely a keeper. Next is this buffalo plaid button-up flannel shirt. This fall and winter I've actively been seeking out pieces that I can add to my casual wardrobe and I thought this shirt would be a really great addition, especially for this time of year. The fit is really nice. Shoulders are perfect, sleeve length is great. The length of the shirt itself is perfect. I could tuck it in, I could wear it untucked. Either way, it's gonna work. This is definitely gonna get home in my closet. Next is this long sleeve turtleneck t-shirt, which I thought was very interesting and I wanted to try because I really do love turtlenecks. They call it a soft touch fabric and I can totally feel why. It's very, very soft feels very nice. I love the color. They call it brown, but it's got a little bit more of a walnut kind of hue. What I like about this is it's very casual, very comfortable, and as you can see, the fit is really nice as well. All right, more brown. This is a corduroy button-up. Again, I have really been looking for shirts to fill out the casual side of my wardrobe, and I obviously couldn't pass this one up. Fit is exactly the same as the buffalo plaid shirt. Everything from the chest, the sleeves, the shoulders is impressively perfect for an off the rack shirt in my opinion. Little sentimental value here too, whenever I go home for the holidays, my dad always wears a corduroy shirt, so it just feels right. So I picked this next sweater because I like cable knit sweaters and of course it's light brown, so you know, I had to. For some reason I ordered it in a size extra small and I don't know why. I think I just wanted to see the difference between small and extra small, but I think this is a little too tight for me. I think maybe I could pull it off, but I don't like to wear form-fitting clothes like this. And because it is so tight, I really would not be able to layer it over a button-up shirt or anything like that. So this one is gonna go back. Hey, look, more brown. <laughs> This is the fine merino cardigan. I have a few cardigans in my closet, but not a brown one. 
I do like to use cardigans as layering pieces, especially under a blazer, so I do like when I can find ones that are thinner like this. Um, I'm a little unsure about the fit here, both around the midsection and the sleeve width, which you can see I keep fussing with it. Um, I did check the size of the gray version of this sweater that I have, and it is a size small, so I don't know if there was a manufacturing issue or if they just started cutting them bigger. I don't know, I'm not super sure about this one, so we'll keep it in the maybe pile. Next is this really nice Glen Plaid scarf. I love the Glen Plaid pattern, and the price was very good. It's a little thinner than I was expecting, but it's not terrible. You know, I think this is a great, versatile and classic looking scarf, so it is going to stay with me. Navy puffer vest. I've always been a fan of the Navy puffer. I actually have one from American Apparel that I bought like 10 years ago, but I really hate how it fits and it's, it's not that warm. This one, on the other hand, fits great. I like that it buttons instead of zipping. It feels very warm. Great casual hour piece. I like it. I'm keeping it. Next is this black seamless down coat. I've wanted a coat like this for a long time. I actually don't have a sort of, you know, just need to run out of the house quickly uh, coat other than like this humongous Woolrich parka, which is just sometimes a little, a little too much. This coat, however, I really like. Three quarter length is nice. It fits really well. Only thing I don't like is that it is now on sale and when I bought it, it wasn't. So, oh well. All right, the chinos. Now, these were the item that I was probably the most curious about. It's hard to find like that perfect, really good fitting pair of chinos and I have my fingers crossed here. Waist seems to fit really well. This is the slim fit, not the stretch slim fit, but the fabric does seem to have a little bit of a give to it. They're long, but all Uniqlo pants seem to come with a 34 inch inseam, so I would definitely have to have them tailored. I don't know, I think these chinos might be a little too tight for my taste. They're very tight around the thigh. Maybe like five years ago, I would go for them, but for where I'm at now, I'm not really feeling the fit. All right, since Robin and I bought the house about a year ago, I've really been embracing sort of like the casual, comfortable, sort of leisure approach to being at home and just sitting around. So a nice pair of joggers fits very well into that compartment of my personal style now. These are pretty comfortable. They've got the zip pockets, great price, sold. Next is this dry stretch hoodie. Goes pretty well with the joggers, I think. Um, as I've come to expect from everything I've tried on so far, it fits really well. It's very comfortable. It's great for walking around the neighborhood, walking to the gym, running errands. Good, simple, easy, casual piece. That's all I have to say about that one. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Flannel pajamas. I saw these on the website and you know, you have to have a couple good pairs of pajamas and definitely a flannel pair. These are awesome. The fit is great, just the right amount of looseness and they are extremely comfortable. Last is this pair of cashmere gloves. I've been looking for a pair of nice versatile gloves like this and the only thing I was worried about was the sizing. They come in one size only. My hands aren't small, but they're not big either. So I was expecting them to fit a little on the big side, but as you can see, they fit like a glove. So I'm gonna be hanging on to them. Overall, this was a super good haul. I'm really, really impressed with not only the quality of all the items, but also the fit. And when you consider the quality and fit along with the price, Uniqlo is just very impressive. Leave your comments below, thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.